everybody, my name is Fox Gaming, and I'm here to showcase the biggest training news and announcements from the previous week and the upcoming games and media in the coming months. To start off the list, a big announcement has been revealed for Sonic fans a couple days ago on Sega's 25th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Mania, the newly announced game, has been announced for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The game is both a newly made game and a reimagining of the classic Sonic titles such as Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. The synopsis is as follows from the developers of the game. Sonic Mania brings fans back into the 2D world of platform games with nostalgic pixel style art and core classic gameplay by reimagining iconic zones and acts from Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic CD, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, and adding completely new zones with all new acts and bosses into the mix. The game is set for release digitally next year in Spring 2017. On top of this news, Sega Team has revealed their newest title, codenamed Sonic Project 2017. The game will be an entirely new Sonic the Hedgehog 3D platformer and will also be introducing classic Sonic for the second time. The synopsis for the game is as follows. When things look their darkest, even heroes need a helping hand. This epic title is being created by the Sonic Team, the same team that brought fans Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, available at retail and digital stores for holiday 2017. Additional information will be revealed at a later date. Next on the list, the Xbox One S, the slimmer version of the original Xbox One, has gotten a release date. The new model offers a built-in power supply and is 40% smaller than the original Xbox One. You can also watch movies and stream video in 4K resolution with high dynamic range. Also, high dynamic range is available for video games as well. It comes bundled with a new Xbox wireless controller with a texture grip, improved wireless signal, and Bluetooth support. The system will be released on August 2nd, 2016. Next on the list, Dragon Quest Builders Day 1 Edition has been announced for the PlayStation 4. The game is a Minecraft-like RPG adventure from the developers of Square Enix. Players who pre-order Dragon Quest Builders will receive exclusive in-game building materials, including the Slimy Block Recipe, Spring Type Sprinkles Recipe, and Gold Block Recipe. The game will be available both physically and digitally for the PlayStation 4 and digitally for the PlayStation Vita. Next up, System Shock Remake, the remake of the original System Shock for PC, will be released for the PlayStation 4 Night Dive Studios has announced. The game will be set in the original System Shock universe and will contain the original storyline of System Shock. The game has also received a pre-alpha trailer for the game as well. The synopsis of the game is as follows. Imagine you're a hacker in the future. You're trapped on a space station with a megalomaniacal AI bent on mankind's destruction named Sheldon. You need to survive and defeat her, or mankind will be lost. No pressure, right? Oh, and you'll be facing her monstrous constructs and warped mutations of humans along the way. Your tools are your wits. Weapons you find, computer systems hack, and corners you can hide in. Good luck. System Shock Remake will be released for the PlayStation 4 and PC in early 2018. Next up, Pray for the Gods. A Shadow of the Colossus-like title from the independent studio, No Matter Studios, will be released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The devs have announced. The game, which is in the crowdfunding process on Kickstarter, has previously set a 600,000 stretch goal for a console release. Now, the studio confirms that it will release for consoles at the 300,000 base goal after the initial PC Steam launch. And finally, Gears of War 4, the upcoming Xbox One and PC exclusive, has received a trailer for its 2TB Xbox One X bundle. It includes a Crimson Red Xbox One themed after the game, a Crimson Omen Limited Edition Xbox Wireless Controller, and a download code for the game for both Xbox One one and PC. The bundle will launch alongside the game on October 11, 2016 for 499 As for upcoming news and game releases, there have been several that have been announced, so here are the main highlights of them all. Harvest Moon Skytree Village will be receiving a limited edition for the 3DS NIS America and Asumi have announced. The bundle will include a copy of the game, a collector's box, a full color art book, an original soundtrack with a jewel case, a 6 labeled pin set, and a blue feather rubber strap keychain. The bundle for the game will be released in October 2016. Pac-Man Championship Edition has been announced for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It will feature 3D mazes and with unique visuals and giant-sized ghost battles. The synopsis is as follows. A new sequel in the highly acclaimed Pac-Man Championship Edition series finally comes to next-generation consoles and PC. Taking highlights from the past, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 takes the best aspects from Championship Edition and Championship Edition DX and evolves the game for the future. Featuring eye-popping 3D graphics and funky visuals, the latest version of the classic game takes chomping and chasing through mages to a whole new level. Get on the train and pack a new package experience is coming. The game will be released for consoles and PC on September 2016. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare developers Infinity Ward has revealed a gameplay walkthrough of the campaign mode. The campaign level, Black Sky, showcases grounded warfare sequences and unique gun mechanics. 
The plane takes the role of Lieutenant Reyes, a tier 1 special operations pilot in the UNSA promoted to captain following a massive sneak attack on Earth. The campaign footage is from the opening sequence of the game and picks up shortly after the attack. As Reyes, you must take the reins and lead your squad through the destruction to push back against the enemy. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will be released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on November 11, 2016. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance and Ultimate Alliance 2 will be released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC Marvel has announced at San Diego Comic Con. The game will be released separately for $39.99 each and bundled together for $59.99. The game will have increased performance in UI and graphic upgrades. The game will be released this Tuesday on July 26, 2016. Dead Rising, Dead Rising 2, and Dead Rising 2 Off the Record has been confirmed to be receiving remastered versions for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The developers have released the following statement. Capcom will be bringing Dead Rising to Xbox One, PS4, and PC. In addition, Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 Off the Record will make their way onto Xbox One and PS4. We will have more news to share soon. The games will seemingly be released on September 13, 2016 according to an Xbox listing. Happy Dungeons will launch digitally on Xbox One Game Preview on August 3, 2016. The game is a follow-up to Happy Wars and allows to four players to play simultaneously online or on local split screen as they hack, slash, loot, and dungeon crawl through a near endless series of minions, bosses, maze-like dungeons, quests, and earn unique weapons, armor, and items. Life is Strange Episode 1 is free to play for all users on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. The game is a point-and-click adventure game and has already had all seasons released. And finally, A King's Tale Final Fantasy 15, the prequel to the upcoming Final Fantasy 15, has received a trailer. The game is a retro-style side-scroller 30 years before the events of Final Fantasy 15. The synopsis is as follows. Restless before bed, young Noctis asks his father, King Regis, to tell a fairy tale full of fantasy and adventure instead of just another generic bedtime story. Regis begins with a peaceful day being disrupted when monsters raid the royal capital, Insomnia. Young Regis, joined by Rescom, starts his adventure from the royal capital. Eventually, they are joined by friends Sid and Clarice when they travel to the plains of Deske, only to discover a mysterious cave where their enemies reside. Throughout the tall tale, King Regis and Noctis interject their own commentary, adding depth and perspective to the story itself. That is all for the biggest news for the week. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or thumbs down either one and subscribe for more weekly news. Be sure to visit my Twitter page as well for daily news. Links are in the description. Thank you so much and I will see you all next week.